This lesson will show how to calculate the sample size for a population proportion given a specific margin of error. If researchers desire a specific margin of error, then they can use the error bound formula to calculate the required sample size. The error bound formula for a population proportion is shown here, and if we take this equation and solve for n, we get the equation below that can be used to determine the sample size n given a specific margin of error. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose a mobile phone company wants to determine the current percentage of customers age 50 plus who use text messaging on their cell phones. How many customers age 50 plus should the company survey in order to be 90% confident that the estimated sample proportion is within three percentage points of the true population proportion of customers age 50 plus who use text messaging on their cell phones? So first, let's list the given information. The confidence level is 90% and therefore CL is equal to 0 0.9. We want the sample proportion to be within three percentage points of the true population proportion and therefore the error bound is 3% as a decimal which is 0 0.03. Looking at our formula, we still have to find Z sub alpha divided by two which is the z-score that corresponds to the 90% confidence level. We also need to find p prime and q prime, where p prime is a sample proportion and q prime is one minus p prime. So let's first find z sub alpha divided by two. Remember alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level. One minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1. And therefore alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.1 divided by two which is 0 0.05, which means we need to find the z-score, z sub 0 0.05, where 0 0.05 is the area to the right of the z-score. So if we're just using a table to find the z-score, we can simply go to the table and look for the 90% confidence level and recognize the z-score is 1.645. If we're using technology, for example, the T I D four to find the z-score, we need the area to the left of the z-score, which is one minus alpha divided by two, or in this case, one minus 0 0.05. And we've done this several times in the past, it will give the same result. And now let's talk about P prime and Q prime, where P prime is the sample proportion, and Q prime is one minus P prime. Well, notice how P prime times Q prime is in the numerator, that gives us the value of n, which means we want to use the values for p prime and q prime that gives us the largest possible product so that we can be guaranteed that n, the sample size, will be large enough to satisfy the given requirements. So again, we want p prime and q prime to have the largest possible product, and we also know p prime plus q prime is equal to one, which means we're going to use 0 0.5 for p prime and q prime. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is the largest product for P prime and Q prime, given the sum of P prime and Q prime has to be one. Now this may not be obvious, but if we take a look at a few examples here, notice how at the top we have 0.5 times 0.5, which is 0.25. Looking at a few other examples, notice how any other product is going to give a smaller product than 0 0.25. So now we have all the information we need to find N where n, the sample size is equal to, in the numerator we have the square of the z-score, so we have the square of 1.645, and then times p prime times q prime, which is times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, all divided by the error bound squared, which is the square of 0 0.03. And now we'll go to the calculator. And we do need the numerator in parentheses. So we have open parenthesis, 1.645 squared times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, close parenthesis, divided by 0 0.03 squared. Enter. Notice how here we do get a decimal. Regardless of the decimal, we always want to round up to verify the sample size is large enough. So here we round up to 752. But again, even if we had 751.1, we would still round up because if we rounded down, the sample size would not be large enough. So now we know the sample size should be 752 cell phone customers 
age 50 plus in order to be 90% confident that the estimated sample proportion is within three percentage points of the true population proportion of all customers age 50 plus who use text messaging on their cell phones. I hope you found this helpful.